What's up, family? So it's been a little minute since y'all seen me or heard from me. It's been about a month now. So to go back over the giveaway thing, it was like I said, only two people in that giveaway. So what I ended up doing for those guys, I gave both of them since I the first giveaway or the second giveaway I did, like I said, nobody entered that one. So I took a little bit of that money that was supposed to be put away for that giveaway, kind of pushed it into this one. So those last two guys I was in the giveaway, I just shot both of them fifty dollars and called it good. It wasn't no purpose to put no video out for two people to try to see who won fifty dollars. I just gave both of them fifty dollars and just call it good. So me and those guys who got paid, it was Oh, I can't think of one of the guys' names right now, but both of them got paid, put it like that. So, if y'all new to the channel, my name is Sean, it's a state line. Like I said, it's been a little while, I think it's been about a month since I posted anything. I just, I ain't been posting that, man. I been doing other stuff. So, if you're new to the channel, like, comment, subscribe. I'm out here today, I'm feeding, I'm watering, I'm cleaning up. I already fed them, gave them water and stuff, so now I'm just cleaning up. So I probably let them run around on camera for a little bit while I'm going in and out, showing different stuff that I have, stuff that I've changed since some of my last videos I posted. It ain't much different, but one important announcement I want to make is that that litter that I told y'all would be coming, it's not going to happen. And it's not going to happen for the simple fact that she should have, she was supposed to come in heat already. So, you know, puppies would have been here a little bit earlier than, you know, the summertime. And I wanted them here before the summer because I had some family vacations planned for the summer. So since she's not in heat yet, I will be pushing that back. She will not be getting bred till the end of the year, towards the end of the year after the summer. So it gives me time to enjoy my summer with my kids and stuff like that. And then I still can produce some dogs for y'all, whoever's interested in those dogs, but it will not be happening before the summer. So even though she will be coming to heat probably in the next couple weeks, maybe a month, I will not be breeding her for the simple fact is i want to take some time off and enjoy my summer with my kids and not have the whelp of litter during the summer and that's what happened last year with that first litter they was born directly in the middle of july and i spent the rest of my summer whelping puppies and it took up all my time so i didn't really get to spend a lot of time with my family still like i wanted to so that litter will not be happening until after the summer so i won't have any breeding so after the summer the price is still the same the breeding pair is still the same. It just won't be happening until after the summer. So I think that's the only thing I had, the two things I wanted to cover before we got started in this video though. So that was it. So I'm gonna go finish doing what I'm doing. I'm gonna pick the camera back up. And once I clean out some of these kennels and I work through some of them because I haven't actually cleaned any of them yet. I only fed them, watered everybody. So I'm gonna let them run a little bit as I'm cleaning up. So family, it's been a little minute, but we back. I'm about to start putting out videos again. I got to, it's been too long. I've been a little stagnant, you know, I ain't been doing things I normally do. So this is my my video back. <laughs> so when I pick the camera back up in a few minutes, I'll show y'all what I'm doing, show y'all some stuff that I didn't change already, and I'll let y'all see it then. So I just got finished cleaning out two, two kennels, but I wanted to tell y'all something that just a personal experience of mine, because when I started, I was doing a lot of like cedar chips, uh, cedar chips and like the, You know what I'm talking about. Stuff I used to put in the bottom of the kennels and I ain't had no papers down there. So I did go pick papers up for this boy. His kennel ain't clean yet, but I got papers for him. You see, we've been having some issues with roofs for him. He he have a hard time with them. So I'm gonna tell y'all about that too. So, but for the time being, for like this girl, I'm in here cleaning hers up right now. And that's when I was wanting to come put this out here and talk to y'all for a second. So I have straw in the bottom of that one compared to like the cedar chips and the wood chips I was using for other kennels before. See, I mean, the straw works 10 times better because that straw holds up against like any water that may get in there, anything like that. And it's easier to pick up poop because it's not as dusty. So if y'all looking for something where y'all don't have like concrete flooring or pavers or, you know, it ain't raised decks or something like that. And they're like kind of on the ground, straw. Get you some uh, hay bales, whatever you want to call it. Put that straw down there. It's perfect, man. I'm telling you, it's probably the best thing I've done. So I got this girl out right here. Whew. What's up, mama? Hey. Hey. So this is the mama I was talking about. She's going to be next up. She's next. But like I said, it ain't going to be till after the summer. Oh, yeah. Oh, you got something on your paw. That's not good. 
So I just want to tell y'all that. You know, the same, I'm already here now. Like I said, his kennel ain't clean yet. So he was having, see like this just happened the other day. We had a lot of wind and it tore the tarp up. It split it right down the middle. The other side is hanging on the other, on the other side of the kennel. So what we're gonna do is, you can see the top of it right here. I seen it on on another channel on YouTube. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna, I'm gonna bracket some wood up here on both sides in the back. And then we're gonna run metal panels at an angle. So all that water just runs off when it rains. That's the goal of what we're trying to do with the roofs. I have the wood, I have the brackets. I have not been able to find the panels that I need and the size that I need. So that's the problem. Cause I have to probably have to order it and I just haven't gotten around to ordering it yet. So he is just split. So we're gonna have to kind of mount something up here until I can go get those panels ordered or if I can actually find some panels. But all the dogs are good though, man. Y'all know y'all ain't really seen them in a while. They all good though. That boy, they're still getting big as ever. He got his own now. And of course my two girls down here. So shortly I will be buying another kennel because one of them gonna have to move out. They getting too old to be in there together. They get along just fine. They don't fight none of that. They always getting along, they always playing, but they just getting too big to be in there together. So I need to take one of them out. So, oh, I wish I could turn this camera around. Look at this girl. And I'm talking with my grass either. I know my grass ain't cut. It's been raining a lot. So I ain't been able to cut no grass. Y'all gonna let me talk about my grass now. Big boy over there, he done ran around a little bit. He tired now. He over there chilling in front of his water bucket. <laughs> but uh, I'm gonna finish up these last two kennels and I'm gonna get back on here because I do got something else I wanna talk to y'all about. So I'm gonna catch y'all in the next. All right, so I'm just gonna do like a little quick kennel walk through with my typical kennel, what I prefer it to look like. So, Yes, five by 10 kennels from Tractor Supply. They're about $450, I think. So what I do is I don't put them all the way back because these pavers are 12 by 12s. So you can do them all the way back and it'll fit perfectly. I just don't do it all the way back. I give it a little bit of spot because it is Oklahoma. It does get hot during the summertime. So they have something cool to lay in. A lot of them don't lay in it. More than likely what they'll do is they'll use the bathroom right there so you don't have to use the bathroom on their concrete. This is Boogie's cage, so he actually does the same exact thing his dad does. He poops in that corner. It's the only place he can poop at. He won't poop anywhere else. He'll just poop right there. So, uh -oh. okay, so feed bowl from Tractor Supply, water bowl from Tractor Supply. Then these are like ten dollars. Those are about. Then they're like four for 25, I think, something like that. But that's my typical kennel. Like I said, I do have the tractor supply roofs on two kennels, the tarps on two. He had a tarp. Like I said, it ripped. I don't know what his luck is with, with tarps. He's ripped two. Two have been ripped on this kennel alone by itself in the last couple weeks. So, like I said, I told you what I want to do run wood, screw it to the top up here, put metal panels on it. A little elevation in the front and let it run off in the back. That's my plan for this. I mean, everybody else's tarp holds up fine. It's just his. So he's the one that I'm really more focused on because everybody else is fine. So when I do do it, his will be first. And luckily, it's hot out today. So we ain't expecting no rain. So I'm not really too worried about it today. Because he does have shade back here. He has shade right there all the way on this side of the kennel. So I'm not really worried too worried about it today. Because he's good. I want to show y'all like what my typical setup with dog kennel is. I get my blue barrels from, uh, hold on. I get those blue barrels from a lady in the OKC area. She actually, I don't know how she gets them, but she has all sizes of barrels. She has barrels for small dogs, cats probably, inside cats to the big barrels I got. She got every size in between. And since I've only bought my barrels with her, she gives me a little bit of a deal on them. Man, there's pieces of tarp everywhere. He, man, you tore this stuff up, man. So she gives me a little bit of a deal on them. I need to go pick up some new ones. But uh, so that's my typical setup. Now, do I want to change it? I do. I like for them to be elevated. 
off the ground on wood, not concrete. Because in the summertime, that concrete gets a little rough. Because it's, no matter if the sun is on it or not, if it's 90 degrees outside, those concrete slabs are still gonna be hot. So my ideal setup is not where I'm at right now, but for what I got going on, it's my ideal setup. So until I get to the point where I can elevate these dog kennels and get them off the ground on wood, this is, is my, my setup. Come here. This is my boy Boogie. Y'all know Boogie. Oh, about to drop the camera. So they'll be a year old. Him and his siblings will be a year old in July. Come on. Come on. Get in there. No, get in there. No. Get in there. They'll be a year old in July. I actually got some updated pictures of their brother in Louisiana and also their sister in Dallas in Texas so I'll put them somewhere up here in the video but uh, it's pretty much gonna be it not a super long video I just want to put something out talk to y'all for a little bit because it's been so long but like I said I'll put pictures of those dogs somewhere over here I have to go look on my phone and find them and I'll put them in there but they looking real good kind of had me questioning my pick the females I kept with they sister. Whew. When you first said she kind of like a male, that's how big she is. But I'm about to go ahead and finish getting all this stuff picked up because I'm done cleaning up dog kennels and get all my stuff picked up. Head back in the house. But like I always say, family, if you're chasing something, chase it with everything you got in you. Don't let nobody stop you from what you're trying to do. Just cause you got some setbacks in the road. Don't mean it ain't something better on the other end of it. Cause like I said before, I didn't want to push this breeding back, but I had to, and I wanted to. Now go out and take that back. It's not that I didn't want to do the breeding, but I know spending time with my kids is way more important to me. And when I know I could just push the litter back. Like the, the breeder inside of me says, go ahead and do it. <laughs> but the dad in me kind of takes over and say, nah, spend some time with your kids. It's the summertime. So, you know, that's why we pushing that back. So just because there's some setbacks in the road don't mean, you know, it ain't going to happen. So family, I'm about to get out of here. Make sure y'all watch the videos, like, comment, whatever y'all want to talk about. We'll talk about it. If you're new to the channel, subscribe. So we're trying to grow the channel. I've been slacking. I was gone for a month, but we back now. So subscribe to the channel, family. We out. Till next time.